the American educator Thomas Paine, in his treatise *The Age of Reason*, published in 1795, wrote, "One step and the great becomes ridiculous. One more step and the funny becomes great. This step is sometimes lifelong." Such a life was the fate of director Leonid Iovich Gaidai. His humor expressed a simple essence: a person should be happy, and the most direct way to do this is through laughter. Gaidai was gifted with a unique talent to feel this good nature of laughter and reveal it to moviegoers. His films are still watched in one breath. They are interesting for both children and adults alike. This year marks the 100th anniversary of his birth, and although he was born in the Amur region, his whole life is inextricably linked with the city of Irkutsk. He grew up in Irkutsk, studied. He returned here after each successful film. His family lived here, on the outskirts of Glasgow, on Kasyanov Street 35. Leonid Gaidai's father, Yov Isidorovich. Built a house for the family himself. Leonid Gaidai had a brother Alexander and a sister Augusta. The whole family was very friendly. There were many books in the house. The brother and sister loved to study. Augusta became a technologist at the Irkutsk Mika factory. Alexander became a famous reporter and writer. We can read his poems written about his home in Glasgow. It is quiet in the suburbs. Daisies grow near the low houses. Lilacs grew widely. I remember myself in the past, and push my cap to one side. Leonid Gaidai grew up as a tomboy. He studied at the railway school number 42. Now there's a lyceum. We can visit the museum there and even see the class where the director studied. As a student, Leonid was creative. He went to a drama club. Played the balalaika and participated in amateur performances. Immediately after school in 1942, Gaidai went to the front, and he returned to his native Irkutsk on crutches, wounded. In the winter of 1944, he came to the director of the Irkutsk Drama Theater, Fallen, and asked to be accepted into the theater studio. After three years of study, he becomes an actor and gets roles in the theater, but this is not enough for him. And Leonid Gaidai decides to go to Moscow. There he entered the Institute of Cinematography, VGIC. Then he decided for himself that he likes to make films more than to be an artist. His first films failed at the cinema. They were criticized. Gaidai went to his parents in Irkutsk, where a decisive turn in his fate took place. In the attic of the house. He found a number of the Pravda newspaper with the Fiolaton A Dog Barbos by Stepan Alenik. The Fiolaton fascinated him extraordinary. The nine-minute film A Dog Barbos and the Extraordinary Cross was a huge success. A unique phenomenon was born of three super popular heroes of Soviet cinema: Dunce, Coward, and Weary, who later shone in Gaidai's films. We can safely say that director Leonid Gaidai was the star of the Soviet Union in the 60s and 70s of the last century, and now there are no people in the country who would not know his wonderful comedies. Ivan Vasilievich changes his profession: Caucasian captive, Operation U. Irkutsk and his father's house in Glasgow have always been dear to Leonid Gaidai. From Moscow. From the filming, which went either in the Crimea, or in Baku, or in America, letters were constantly sent home. It was so habitual for him that after each film, he came to Irkutsk. He stayed with his brother Alexander, visited his sister Augusta, wandered the streets of childhood. Having become a famous director, Leonid Gaidai shared his plans in one of his letters to his brother Alexander. I dream of making a film about Siberians. About old and new Irkutsk, and shooting it in my hometown. But how and when my dream will come true is unknown. He died in 1993. In 2012, a monument to Leonid Gaidai was opened in Irkutsk. It consists of two large sculptures. One embodies the legendary trio of the film Caucasian Captive, Coward, 
dunce and weary. The second depicts film director Liana Guy Dai in the process of directing the shooting. The monument is installed on Weber Square, near to the circus. If you approach him, you seem to get on the set and can participate in the process. Irkutsk keeps the memory of Liana Guy Dai. He is remembered here, loved and appreciated. Memorial plagues have been opened in the city. On the house where the Guy Dai family lived for many years, along Kasyanov Street, House 35, at Lyceum No. 42, where he studied, Prof. Sayuzna Street, House 3, the Center of Russian Cinematography, named after Leonid Iovich Guy Dai, was founded in a cultural center, Artistical, and a memorial plague was installed, Karl Marx Street 24. Guy Dai is a recognized classic and master of comedy. Our city is rightly proud of such a countryman. He took a step from the ridiculous to the sublime, showed us laughter in which there is love, and goodness, and truth. There is only evil in it.